I think it, the important thing is that in countries like G Germany and Japan that have already adopted sensible policies for stimulating renewables, they, in particular wind and uh, solar electricity, photovoltaics, are expanding far faster already than, than nuclear will ever do. And that's stimulating in these countries a market which is bringing the, bringing the price down, so the, the, the price of both of them is fall, uh, falling. And it's set to uh, expand expo exponentially into the future. Now, in the UK, we have just decided to adopt such a policy. From the 1st of April, we are going to have a feed-in tariff like the Germans, at last. We start from a base which is seven times less wind power and 200, more than 200 times less photovoltaic power than, than Germany, though our photovoltaic resource is comparable to Germany and our wind power resource is far better. But even starting from those low levels, if we follow the German uh, expansion rates, we calculate that within a decade, the uh, the wind and photovoltaics alone will, will, will provide far more electrical capacity than the new nuclear reactors, which will only just start coming on stream in, in 10 years' time. So they'll be irrelevant in terms of, of global warming. The, the renewables can come on so much faster. At the moment, already in Germany, uh, Photovoltaic capacity increased in 2008 by about a nuclear reactor's worth. That's the sort of rate at which it's already expanding. And nuclear can never expand at that sort of rate. There's no market in the sense, there's no driving mechanism, no competitive mechanism for different producers of nuclear reactors. And what the nuclear industry should be doing, I think, is um, uh, not what they're doing at the moment, which is putting up the price of the reactors because they're having to put on, uh, quite rightly, new safety, think of new safety um, approaches and, uh, and that costs money. So the cost of nuclear reactors is going up where the cost, cost of photovoltaics and wind is coming down. At the moment, uh, today, um, photovoltaic uh, electricity measured in dollars per watts, it's about four, $4 dollars a watt, something like that, the cost. And that's falling. People are talking about, uh, they're setting up, factories are being setting up, set up that are, are gonna cut that in half. So the, 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 the market is building and the costs are falling and mass production is are bringing the costs down. As we've observed for every other semiconductor device, uh, my mobile phone that ten years ago was not uh, uh, was only could only be uh, afforded by the police and the military, and, and now we all will have one. We are, now we all have one. That's the way semiconductor the semiconductor industry works, and that's coming down. All those costs are coming down. Contrast with the nuclear industry, which interestingly at the moment is 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 somewhere around that same sort of figure and going up. And it's a projected cost for what might be achievable in when they actually build it in 10 years' time. And it's going up for a very good reason. Uh, why, uh, that, that, that when they take all the safety costs into account, these add to the cost. It's going up that fast in the, the one reactor that's being built in, in Finland, the, the, the cost is also also going up, and there is no market driving down that cost. There are, for just one sort of, uh, of, of, of uh, solar cell, uh, the one that's just coming on the market now, one of the thin film cells, the copper Indian diselenide SIGs, uh, there are 26 companies worldwide, a student uh, that I know calculated, a student whose thesis I, I examined recently, uh, showed that there are 26 countries worldwide there are about two nuclear reactors in, uh, companies in the Western world, and they don't really compete in the same way to drive the prices down. So there's no mechanism for nuclear price to come down. It just goes up 
it's always, always subsidized by, by the government. And we haven't even mentioned the waste cost uh, of nuclear or the fuel cost, which you don't have in solar. But the, but the waste cost, of course, is uh, the historic waste cost from the, from the last two generation nuclear reactor is the same order of magnitude, $4, $4 per watt, as much as the, uh, uh, as the, um, as the capital cost of the new, uh, current new reactor. That's going to be borne by the government, by I, you and me, uh, not, by the, not by the companies that, 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 that build these things. So there's, it's, it's just not economic in the same way. Economics is driving solar costs down and nuclear costs just go up. That's the only way they go. Making the w waste, nuclear waste safe and inaccessible to terrorist attack is, should be the prime uh, responsibility, absolutely prime responsibility of the, uh, of the um, nuclear industry, not building new, re new nuclear reactors. Um, w w we're spending uh, two, billion, two billion pounds a year on cleaning up the first ge two generations of nuclear reactors in this country. And uh, that's terribly important work, I'm saying. Uh, it's got to, be, got to be done, got to be done properly. I don't see any of that money going into uh, supporting new, new, new nuclear build. But what they should be concentrating on is a, a, an extremely important task, that is to get the, the waste of the previous generations of, nu of nuclear reactors safely out of the, env out of the environment. None of the uh, UK uh, nuclear reactors is safe against uh, a an attack by a by a, a jet aircraft by a loaded jet, air, jet aircraft. That's uh, the Parliamentary Officers in Science and Technology report pointing that out. I, I should also uh, point out that a, a, nu a, a nuclear attack on a on a nuclear reactor would be. Uh, are particularly devastating. You'd have the, the, the fallout from the, from the, the nuclear explosion itself, plus the extra uh, pl plutonium from the uh, uh, from the nuclear reactor. A, a conventional expl explosion, or uh, say a crashed aircraft, as I mentioned earlier, uh, that also could uh, d uh, produce a dirty bomb, which could devastate vast areas. Make vast areas of the country uninhabit uninhabitable. So we have uh, a job for the, for, for the nuclear, a terribly important one for the nuclear industry to do, to get the waste out of the environment, uh, deep underground preferably, out of the hands of terrorists. Uh, and, and remember, that waste is going to be dangerous for millions of years.